I overlaid what my analysis onto the cryptocurrencies. Okay. So I still write a gold newsletter for many of my subscribers, but I've now focused more so on the cryptocurrencies because at least there's been life. Hi, I'm Caleb Gates from Alpha Boys here at Crypto Invest Summit in Los Angeles. I'm here with Bo from Gold 2020 Forecast. Bo, what's going to happen to Bitcoin? Well, it's going to go up soon, sooner than most people actually expect it to. So we've been waiting a long time for this thing to move. I'm sure everybody's been watching crypto go nowhere. Yeah. And we're getting there. Very, very, very close. But before Bitcoin or the cryptocurrencies can take off vertical, we need a major world event. And what's that? Market, a world stock market plunge. That's gonna happen soon? Yes, it's, it, based on my analysis, we're supposed to see that in November, next month. So where can I learn more about your analysis? You're telling me you run a giant um, newsletter. newsletter that yeah. helps investors. Yeah, we've had large, uh, I've had a very large following uh, for, for, bit, for gold and silver for a long time, but because gold and silver have been so dead for a long time, basically con the price has been controlled for so long, I transferred all my studies and work and push it into Bitcoin. You started in gold and silver? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And now you're ago. doing Bitcoin gold? Both. But I'm do yeah, actually, you're doing Litecoin, I'm Bitcoin silver? <laughs> <laughs> well, I overlaid what my analysis onto the cryptocurrencies. Okay. So I still write a gold newsletter for many of my subscribers, but I've now focused more so on the cryptocurrencies because at least there's been life in Bitcoin. Even if it's going down, it's been had movement relative to the price of gold and silver, which have gone nowhere in the past two years, three years already. So they've been stuck. But all of that's about to change from gold to silver and cryptocurrencies, specifically. Tell um, me Bitcoin. about it. What's the timeline? Well, basically what we're looking at again is with if nothing changes, think about this, right? Since Bitcoin topped at 20,000 last December. Yeah. And then I, we in an in interview of last year in November, I said Bitcoin will have a final top or top the first week of January. And guess what happened the first week of January? Bitcoin come, came back up to 18,000 point do dollars and then crashed $10,000 by February. So it was a huge crash. My subscribers, you know, people who followed us, you know, we knew it was coming, so we prepared. But the people who were not, you know, there's people buying at 18, 19, 20 thousand dollars. And I'm sure, you know. I made that mistake. Right, you know, and a lot of, most people did, because when do people buy? When it's hot, it's going right. up. It's gonna keep going. It's yes. So yes. I wasn't in Bitcoin, I was in Ripple, and it was like, everyone was telling me it's gonna hit five dollars. It's gonna hit. Yeah. So it's like, okay. 10 cents, 20 cents, $1, $2. So I bought a bunch of 20 cents and I was like, $2, gotta reinvest, you know? Yeah, yeah. Wh whatever that profit margin Well, was speaking, of, speaking of Ripple, I actually bought Ripple and had three zeros in front of it. And I sold it at 20 cents. So yes, it went uh, higher. I bought your Ripple. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what happened. Actually, that's true. With You're every, welcome. With every seller, there's a buyer. So I'm, I, I apologize for selling it to you. So how but, did... But that's basically what I'm trying to tell you is that you want to buy when it's got zeros in front of it, like Ripple when I was buying it, right? So even though Ripple might still be a good buy right now, I just I think there's better coins to buy. But my point is, you know, you don't buy Ripple when it explodes, like what you bought. So don't buy Bitcoin when it explodes to 18, 19, 20 thousand dollars. It's going to correct as you saw, right? Yeah. So you want to buy it before it does it. So buying Bitcoin today or Litecoin today, okay, give or take, you know, this month of October, you know, so you might talk of a fluctuation price at a little bit, okay? But we're talking minuscule price movements. So we're talking like, so looking at Bitcoin, Litecoin, the, cur the currencies today is like buying Ripple with three zeros in front of it today. Okay. Okay, so that's the analogy. And so if, if you're waiting for the cryptos to go lower, then that's not gonna happen. But what's about to happen, as I discussed earlier, is if nothing changes in our world, think about this, right? If since top to now, if nothing changes, Bitcoin's never gonna go up. True. Think about it. They've controlled the price of it, they've been able to hold the price of it, and it's been basically stagnant at around $6,500 for the past month, two months already. But beyond that, it's just been, you know, from its top, it's been falling and it's just, it's been stuck. So until something world massively happens in our world, because Bitcoin is a world currency, it's a world money, right? Point, it's, right? It's, it's, it's traded all over the world, right? So something big must happen. And when something big happens, this is when we're going to see the cryptocurrencies take off. So how do you know 
that a big event is going to happen? Um, what I specialize is time analysis, and I use cycles. So a cycle, in essence, the simple form of it is a circle. So a circle just repeats itself. Yeah. Okay, and that's what a cycle is in its simplest form. Um, but the point is, time cycles that I use point to a market crash in November. Of, in the world, okay? okay? Now, as crazy as this might sound, one case not gonna happen. Okay, then go back and go to my YouTube channel, Gold 2020 Forecast. On October 4th, I uploaded a video. On October 4th, just three weeks ago, uh -huh. saying that the US and the world stock markets top today uh, will drop, will be the first day down today. And were you right? Nailed it. The U.S. stock markets, I was actually going to upload the video on the 3rd on, on the actual day, but I was tired that night and my kids, so I just, I did it first thing in the morning before the market dropped, but the point was, go back, it doesn't matter. The October 4th upload was the exact first day down of the world stock markets. Since then, the Dow's down probably 1,500 to 2,000 points. Okay. And this is only the start. I uploaded a video just two days ago about the stock markets. Again, discussing about what's about to happen. But my point is, again, the stock markets are just heating up for calamity. And so when the markets crash, the world will lose faith and confidence in the paper-based system, in the stocks. And you're gonna find people are gonna flood the world. And I say people, the, the, the trillions of dollars that are on the sidelines right now, or not even, you know, sideline. People are going to get scared to have their money in the markets, and when you have that amount of money, people are going to want to say, "Where can I put it?" Because if markets are falling, so what are they going to do? They need the money has to go somewhere. It's it's just the way it works. Bitcoin, you, right, right. Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies, gold and silver. That's where the money is going to go into real hard assets versus a falling asset. So until the markets take the dive, Bitcoin will. It'd be not that strong just yet, but it's it's holding here at the, at the floor. And when it goes, it's going to be very big because the market plunge is going to be very sizable. And in the, so again, my video YouTube channel, we do have some projections on where the stock market could crash to. But the point is, the market crash will be the reason why Bitcoin, why why, why the world will take their money and put it into cryptocurrencies because they no longer trust the fiat money-based, paper-based money system. And that's gonna be the reason why blockchain explodes. That's interesting. So, what's the next step for the viewer? Well, the next step is just make sure, if, you know, if you're involved in cryptocurrencies, in crypto, Bitcoin cryptocurrencies, just relax. It's, it's all good. It's gonna go back up. Because, well, but you're in the right place. It's, it's, like, it's like waiting, it's like yourself, right? When you should have been buying Ripple with three zeros in front of it, instead you bought it at 0 0.2 cents, right? So right now, we're sitting at a point where, a, a comparable point to where Ripple was with three zeros in front of it. So just relax. Because when it goes, it's gonna be explosive very quick and you're gonna be extremely happy and you're gonna watch your, your current position explode or multiply in price. I'm not talking like 3% or 10% moves. I'm talking multiplying. So, you know, 2x, 3x, 4x moves are gonna happen in the cryptocurrencies. So is now a good time to buy? Well, absolutely, because this is the time where, Bit, where, where, where Ripple had three zeros in front of it. Before, zero, before Ripple dropped the, the, you know, three zeros and it went up a thousand percent. Okay, okay well, so that's that's the point is be positioned. It's about timing and now is the time because it's getting really exciting. And 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 lastly, is it's just it's Bitcoin's got a two-month down cycle, so it's it's finishing its down cycle here and now. And so once November comes, it's gonna be exciting. November ended into year end. So fasten your seatbelts. That's that's exciting. It's been great talking to you. My pleasure, thank you. I gotta go buy some ripple. Yeah. <laughs>